Hi, my name is Ryan Navarro and I'm an Applications Engineer at Hawkridge Systems. And today I want to show you how we can use the hole wizard to easily add holes to non-planar surfaces. So here we can see I have a part that's got a conical face. And I want to add some holes that are normal to this face. If I wanted to do that without the hole wizard, I would need to add a plane that's tangent to this face and make multiple selections from my reference geometry to get that plane to be tangent and then perform an extruded cut from this plane. But that's a lot of work for, to do for each hole and it's also um, a little difficult because on more complicated surfaces it can be hard to verify that you're actually getting the tangency that you want. So as an alternative to this we can just use the hole wizard and as long as I'm not pre-selecting any faces I'll have the ability to click into a 3D sketch here under my positions tab in the hole wizard. And when I click into 3D Sketch, you'll see that wherever I mouse over, I'm getting a preview showing me that my hole will be normal to the surface I'm placing it on. So I'll just click to place a point here, hit Escape to get on my point tool, and now I've got a preview for a hole that's normal to that conical face, and I can fully define it by adding some additional entities to my 3D Sketch. So I'm going to click into my Line tool and sketch up from my origin, and I want to make sure I get this yellow along Y axis, that means I get my automatic relation when I click and then go over to my hole position and grab my coincident relation to that and then I'm just going to select this line make it along my x-axis and now we can see if I move this line around I've got it constrained in a way where I only need to add a dimension to fully define this so I'll add a height of 30 millimeters and now I can set the size and end condition I want. I'm going to make this hole 12 millimeters. And we can see that my hole is perfectly normal to that conical face. Now that one was easy because it was in line with the origin, but we can use the same technique even if we're going to be off to the side. I'll just go into my 3D sketch, place a new hole, and this time I'll, I'll draw my first line from the origin off at an angle but you can see that I'm not in the right sketch plane I, I want. Right now I'm in the XY plane, and I want to be in the YZ plane. So I can switch the plane I'm sketching in by just pressing the tab key when I'm in a 3D sketch. So you see tab cha changing the plane that I'm currently sketching in. So I'll sketch off in the YZ to an angle, and then over to my hole location and grab that coincident relationship. And then I've got a little too many degrees of freedom here to easily position this. So I want to hold control and select my first line in my front face of my part and make those an on-plane relation. So now my line is constricted to that plane. And then I'll apply the same along X axis to this other line. And now it's, it's constrained in a way that I can just add an overall height dimension as well as an angle to position this line. So I'll add a center line vertical so that way I can add an angle over to my second hole and I'll make this 35 degrees. Now we can see we have that fully defined. I can go back to my type tab and I'll change this one down to a 9 millimeter. So we can see we've got two holes normal to our conical face and we can easily pattern those around our part if we want by just doing a circular pattern, selecting a circular edge and the features we want to pattern. We can see that each one of these holes is maintaining normal. So in summary, that's just a quick overview of how to use the hole wizard to place holes on non-planar surfaces. Uh, thanks for watching this video, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our Hawkridge Systems channel.